Good day everyone! Before we formally discuss about the annotation of Morga Suces de Stiles Islas Filipinas, let me introduce myself first. My name is Amy Rose Acedo, a Bachelor of Science in Social Work student, and I'm from International School of Asian the Pacific. The annotation of Morga Suces de Stiles Islas Filipinas. The original title of Suces de Stiles Islas Filipinas is Sucesos de las Islas Filipinas por el Dr. Antonio de Morga, obra publicada en México en el año 1609, Nueva Minisaja de Luz y Anotada por Prologo del Profesor Fernando Blumenthal. Or in English translation, Events in the Philippine Island by Dr. Antonio de Morga, a work published in Mexico in year 1609, reprinted and annotated by Jose Rizal, preceded by the introduction by Professor Fernando Blumenthal. So what do we mean by Sucesos de las Islas Filipinas? It is one of the important works on the early history of the Spanish colonization of the Philippines published in Mexico in year 1609 by Antonio de Morga. It was annotated by Jose Rizal with a prologue by Dr. Ferdinand Blumenthal. So who is Antonio de Morga? Antonio de Morga Sanchez Garra, a Spanish soldier, lawyer, and high-ranking colonial official for 43 years. He was also the president of the Real Audencia for 20 years. He was a historian. He published the book Sucesos de las Islas Filipinas in 1609. His history is valuable in that Morga had access to the survivors of the earliest days of the colony, and he himself participated in many of the accounts of that he rendered. The book narrates the history of wars, intrigues, diplomacy, and evangelization of the Philippines in a somewhat disjointed way. The book Successes de las Islas Filipinas consists of eight chapters. First, of the first discoveries of the Eastern Islands. Second, of the government of Dr. Francisco de Sante, of the government of Don Gonzalo Ronquillo de Penalosa, of the government of Dr. Santiago de Vera, of the government of Gomez Perez dos Marinas, of the government of Don Francisco Tello, of the government of the Don Pedro de Acuna, and the lesson, an account of the Philippine Island. So what initially prompted Rizal to do the annotation? Rizal have been reflecting on the country's history, Blumentritt could not be persuaded to write a history of the Philippines. Objectives of Rizal in rewriting Philippine history First, to prove that Filipinos are civilized even before the coming of the Spaniards. Second, to awaken the consciousness of the Filipinos regarding the glorious ways of the past. And lastly, to correct what has been distorted about the Philippines due to Spanish conquest. Morga's purpose for writing successes. Morga wrote that the purpose for writing successes was so he could chronicle the deeds achieved by Spaniards, i. the discovery, conquest, and the conversion of the Philippine Islands, as well as various fortunes that they have from time to time in the great kingdoms and among the pagan peoples surrounding the islands. What leads to the result to success as the last Islas Filipinas? Rizal was an earnest seeker of truth and this marked him as a historian. He had a burning desire to know exactly the condition of the Philippines when the Spaniards came ashore to the islands. His theory was that country was economically self-sufficient and prosperous. Rizal's annotation of Morga's successes, his extensive annotation of Morga's number of number, no less than 639 items, or almost two annotations for every page. Rizal also annotated Morga's typographical errors, and he commented on every statement that he could be nuanced in the Filipino culture practices. Three main propositions in Rizal's new edition of Morga's successes. The people of the Philippines had a culture on their own. Before the coming of the Spaniards, Filipinos were decimated, demoralized, exploited, and ruined by the Spanish colonization, and the present state of the Philippines was not necessarily superior to its past. Rizal's annotation includes the narration of the Philippine colonial history and his observation as a colony of Spain. 
The successes is annotated by Rizal appeared for the first time in the Philippines 68 years later when a publisher in Manila published the new work in 1958 to contribute his bid to the national effort to honor Rizal. The present work is the sixth volume of the series of writing of Jose Rizal, which the Jose Rizal's National Centennial Commission has now published in commemoration of his birth. And that ends my discussion. Thank you for listening.